Hello, everyone. This is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. In today's video, we're going to talk about a major overhaul uh, that may be underway. And this time, the U.S. government is putting everything back on the table. I don't know if you guys remember, but before the pandemic, um, uh, there's been some legislation that's been uh, on, the, on the table of some major changes that need to be done. And now it's back on the table. And again, they're pushing this envelope. They actually had a three hour long conversation um, about this. And you know how banks are. They don't like for anything to kind of change anything. Um, but you have to make it seem like you want to do something. Now, if, you're, if you've been kind of out of the loop recently, um, you can get your uh, credit reports for free. Uh, and they extended that all the way into uh, 2022. Uh, the catch is it doesn't come with any scores, okay? Uh, so of course, annual credit report um, has been out for quite some time, but now you can get them um, a bit more frequently up until uh, 2022 at no charge. But again, it doesn't come with any scores, so you may as well keep what you got, right? But there's some new legislation essentially that's trying to keep uh, some of the things that we're dealing with on a regular basis, and they're trying to uh, keep, you know, make this process a little bit easier. So what are some of the changes uh, that are on the table, okay? So number one, um, they're going to be uh, prohibiting the use of credit score information for purposes unrelated to credit decisions. So for example, uh, that means employers can no longer uh, use credit reports during their screening process. A lot of jobs don't do this, but many jobs still do. And of course, if like, for example, uh, they're trying to make a decision between, you know, uh, similar applicants that both qualify and trying to find a reason why not to choose them. A lot of places don't necessarily do that. There are some things that that's extremely restricted that they cannot see. Uh, but there's some information that, you know, that could potentially keep a person uh, from getting, you know, the job. OK, so that's what's on the table, um, along with reducing the amount of time that negative information stays on your credit report. I think this is huge uh, because as of right now, um, you know, everything stays on there for seven years. And of course, bankruptcies, uh, chapter seven can stay on there for up to 10 years. And what they're proposing is uh, missed payments, late payments, collections will fall off uh, after four years. So that's huge. And of course, bankruptcies would continue to stay on for seven years, but now it'd be seven, whether it's a 13 or a seven. So I think that that's huge. Uh, limiting the reporting of medical debt. A lot of people have medical debt. Um, and essentially, they will report um, how much of that uh, certain services that delay the, the reporting of unpaid medical bills for one year and give you time to resolve the issues with hospital bills and insurance companies, because that's usually what the, the holdup is. And what does that mean? That means that, you know, uh, sometimes you may get a bill that you weren't supposed to get. Uh, sometimes there's a bill that gets paid late by your insurance company, but then they put it on your credit report and drop your score. Then when they get paid, they just update the balance. But a lot of times they don't remove uh, the, you know, the collection. And then, or worse, some people have no idea uh, that you know where that medical collection even came from. So, but again, those are little things that are playing a major role in people's credit scores. And this is a new, another reason why it's back on the table is because of COVID-19. There were some things that, you know, um, we all know that a lot of people know their jobs fluctuated, their hours fluctuated. Some people got laid off for a load. Some people never went back to the same industry because of COVID-19. And due to that, they, it wasn't that they, they could not pay their bills. No, they could not pay their bills. And because of that, um, of course, a lot of scores dropped. And there were some of some of our clients, um, we noticed that their scores were dropping. And, um, and you'd be surprised, a lot of people had no idea that they were supposed to call a lot of these financial institutions in the very beginning of COVID-19. Uh, just because, you know, about midway through the year of last year, a lot of companies had already put some things in place. But for that first six months, a lot of them didn't, you had to call them and tell them, hey, listen, this is the situation. Because uh, let's be honest, I mean, how would they know, right? But because people are late, you know, and, and some people actually had no income changes, they were just late on purpose. Uh, and they kind of finesse the system, you know, but what they're trying to do is trying to reduce all of that. And that is what's on the table. And of course, uh, Maxine Waters, of course, uh, out of California, she's been fighting this for quite some time. But I mean, for them to have a three and a half hour conversation about this and getting different opinions about this and recording it, I mean, this is major. So we have no idea where this is going to end up going. Uh, that, is, of course, the, the algorithms are going nowhere. Advantage is going to be here. FICO, of course, is going to be here. Um, it's just making things a little bit easier for the consumer 
And, uh, you know, so that most definitely helps some people because, I mean, think about it. We all, you know, made mistakes, right? You know, whether in your 20s or your 30s, but man, seven years is quite a long time, you know, and don't get me wrong, you know, uh, we can always help here at 850 Club to try to, you know, accelerate that process. Uh, But at the end of the day, the consumer, uh, they're having to deal with a lot of these things on their own and they may want to, you know, try to fix the credit on their own or they may not have no idea where to start. But either way, we're here to help and we're here to give you the information as fast and as soon as possible. So we'll keep keep you guys posted on what that ends up turning out to be and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, if you like this video, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you.